not too hard. Alright, Paddock and Holden are gonna stay behind and set up radio com. McCreary, Dawson, Corlin, you're with Zanovich. McConnell and Roselli, you're with Campbell. We're all going in together. MG teams five. Fire on that Hopefully the recording then corrupt. Otherwise, this uh, it's gonna suck. Then again, I can just upload it from Twitch directly to YouTube. Well, it's gonna suck though. Send those guys. Dawson, I need you over there. Moving out. Heading to that position. Come on, get up. No reloads for you. Yeah, I'm gonna lose all of them if I just let them go this way. Do that, kill the enemy before they get the cover. Set up there. You heard him move, move. They can't hold out much longer. Don't give up. Talk to the leather mag. Here you go. Head down, break it up. Jesus, I don't have a good feeling about this. I don't think you're going to kill him. Let's Got. 
cover. I got you. That's that way. Double time. Shoot them? Yes, I can. I'm throwing a grenade! There's a pub around here. Okay, at least that worked this time. Another tank mission. What could possibly go wrong? At least we can see this time. That's five man squad. This is a bit unfair, right? Shot or a crit, I guess. Good thing that they would have like bazooka teams in each building here, so they surprised the bitch. No. 
of the shitty ass tank in front of the walls. Now we have friendlies here. Nice. at all no yeah that all no that cold september 34600 soldiers of the allied forces set foot on dutch soil to embark on operation market garden and take the war across the rhine into germany on september 27th the combined assaults of the 506 and the 50 deuce which included the 101st recon squads were able to drive the german forces from their stronghold in covering it was here that the men of the 101st learned that the British forces at Arnhem could no longer hold their defenses against the might of the German armor. They gave their all for reinforcements that would not arrive. This 30 Corps, ambushed, battered, wounded, and dying, would never reach their destination. Ultimately, the Allies were forced to abandon the goal of securing Arnhem, with the toll having reached over 17,000 Allied casualties in just eight days. Their story was not over. No word on Hartsock. No. It's been four days, but I think Holden got word Corian was doing that. He's okay, I think, so that's good. You feel strange to lose, doesn't it? Just a bit. 30 court. Just been on time. We'd still be using a foolhardy plan from a foolhardy gym. Montgomery got greedy. What's with you? I told them. About what? Leggett. What he did. What I did. Matt! I told you never to do that. I know. It's just... You should go check on Red. to talk to you so you okay Matt the whole time the whole fucking time you knew exactly what happened Sam. to them you know what don't fucking do that don't stoically say my name and act like that not now N Matt we will never fight together again been waiting for you, Sergeant. 
We need to speak privately. How's Red? That's why we need to speak privately. Now, he doesn't know anything yet. He's mostly been in and out of it for a few days now. Wait, wait, doesn't know what, Doc? Well, he suffered some heavy trauma to his thoracic nerves, mostly lower. That's um, part of the spinal cord. Doc, what are you saying? He's paralyzed. He doesn't know. I, I wanted him to find out from someone he trusted. He asks about you most of the time, when he's conscious. Could get knocked out a bunch while I was gone? No. Who took my place? Paddock for now. <laughs> wow. Paddock. Mr. Deathwish. Red. Um, something that we gotta talk about. Is everyone okay? I heard about Friar. But is everyone else okay? Everyone's okay. But, uh... It's you, Joe. What? God. You're going home. You're going home to Irma and Carol. You're gonna be a dad. You're gonna be a great dad. That building, uh, when it fell on us. Uh, Matt, you're not gonna walk again. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Look at me. <laughs> Nothing. Nothing is going to stop me from finding you when this is all over. You're my best friend, Red. Were any of us worth it? <laughs> yes. At least <laughs> you've learned something. Now this looks familiar. It would appear we have much more in common than you'd originally thought. Bulletproof Matt Baker, reduced to tears at the loss of a friend. It's not the same. Well, that's the rub, isn't it? It is the same. You stand, knees buckling under the weight of your own guilt. You are history repeating itself. I'm still alive. That's more than I can say for you. Are you? There's not much to say about me, Matthew. I was weak and frail and was crushed by a secret you told me to keep. I was protecting you. Is this the same protection you offered Frankie? He trusted in you, Matthew, much as the others did. But they aren't here either. Exactly how much is your protection worth? Stop. Please. This is not your stop. There's more road ahead. Tell me, Matthew. You've made it through hell. How do you feel about snow? I can handle snow. Where are you going with that bloody gun? I'm surprised a higher power didn't already give you an answer. Well, I think you should slow down. Can't, people to see. All right, everyone, fall in on me. Let's move it. Man, it's been 10 days, and there's not a man among us who didn't give everything he had. Some gave more. We lost Frankie, Fryer, and Marsh, and Red. The collapse broke part of his back, paralyzed him. He won't ever walk again. 
he can talk. And you know what he said? He asked me if any of us were worth it. We've all made mistakes. We've all questioned what we're doing here. And we all feel burdened by the cost of the fight, especially in the face of defeat. But I'm not retreating. I'm standing alongside of all of you. I'm still standing right here. I'll walk us straight into Berlin if it's asked of us, and it probably will be. And I know some of you don't trust me right now. Some of you are clinging to superstition. That ends right now. I know we feel like we need something to blame, but it's just a goddamn gun. So here we are. Brothers, fathers, saints, and sinners. Let's bring this fight back to the Germans. Well, shit. <clears throat> if you're gonna use all them pretty words. I can't. What is it that makes a great soldier? Is it his brain? Or his heart? <laughs>